I'm Ben from the technical department here at Silver Sport Transmissions. Today we're going to go through putting together the dial indicator for checking your bell housing runout measurement. First thing we want to do is open the packages and make sure that we have everything that we need to do the job. First thing is to make sure you have your dial indicator, two adapters, and a set of instructions here. And in the second box, we have the dial indicator base with the articulations and the arm that will hold the dial indicator when we're all done. When you take your dial indicator out of the box, the first thing that you'll notice is you need to move the dial indicator arm from its current position to the 90 degree position. To do this, put your finger on the ball tip and press, don't worry, you won't break it, all the way down to the 90 degree position. After you do that, you can assemble the rest of the unit by sliding the articulating arm through the hole and tighten the thumb screw making a good solid base for your dial indicator to go into. Take the smaller of the two adapters and loosen the stem slightly so you can put the dovetail of the adapter over top of the dial indicator. Then taking a small screwdriver tighten the base again you're not going to break it good and tight on there then you take the stem of the adapter and put it into the black articulation arm tighten that securely using a pair of needle nose pliers then when you put it inside your bell housing that little ball tip will run around the inside of the register hole and remember when you're putting this on your flywheel make sure that you take the little coin off the bottom so that the magnetic base will adhere to the flywheel and remember here at Silver Sport Transmissions we're always here for you feel free to give us a call anytime